Hello everybody, I'm Jessica River and today I'm going to be playing The Sims. Actually, I'm going to be re-watching myself play The Sims 3 because I couldn't record and play the game at the same time because my, where is it? My headphones are broken. So had I been filming at the same time that I was recording, I would have really screwed up the audio, unfortunately. So this is me reacting to me playing The Sims 3. Okay, so I've sped up a lot of this because I played like over two hours of gameplay on this game. I wasn't expecting to play that much. And um, here I'm just in the character creation screen and I'm making Brad first because, you know, he's just kind of easier for me to make than myself. So basically I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with the game because uh, I haven't played this in a long time so a lot of this is just kind of me figuring out the controls because I couldn't remember a lot of things like I actually forgot that you could like stretch and squash like the face and like move like up like the things on your face around so basically I'm just like choosing like the default stuff and um, picking like you know the regular eyes and just changing the color you know and I forgot just how weird the characters are in this game. Like, the models are just kind of creepy. <laughs> um, and I was trying to make them look kind of decent. So I actually spent quite a bit in the character creation screen. And here I'm picking Brad's traits. Um, just trying to like go with his regular personality. I made um, both of my characters, which is me and Brad, um, have like I think like the romantic trait and uh, I think we're like both family oriented and I was like picking like his favorite foods and his favorite colors and things it was so funny um, and also like I was trying to like match his voice up like I went way too detailed with this <laughs> this is just me making the characters and making basically my dream home and <laughs> that took forever and I didn't even get to the interior of the house and this is like two hours of gameplay that I went through. <laughs> okay, and now I'm making me, and uh, I tried to make myself look like myself as much as possible, but it's like, it's so hard with this game. Here I'm just like, I'm messing around with the colors, just like picking out outfits and trying, trying to make them look good. <laughs> Like everything is just so sleek. Like it's so, like they have a couple like um, fabrics and things in the game that you can choose from, but everything just looks so, I don't know, metallic-y kind of. I do like the color wheel in the game. I think the color wheel in this game is really good. I don't know if they have the color wheel in other games, but you can basically pick whatever color you want, um, which is nice. It's just like the actual outfits. <laughs> They're just, they're just kind of old, you know? It's just the old game and old clothes, so it's hard to pick something that's nice looking. I'm just uh, picking out my traits. Again, this is the family one, so they both have like the same goal. We'll see if we actually get to that goal or not. Like I said, I haven't even made the interior of the house yet. The controls of this game is so weird. Like, trying to be like okay I'm like this person's spouse or whatever I remember I used to try to like go back and edit the families and like you can't I, I don't think you can do that in this game if you can do that in this game I just I have no idea um, I do like that you can cheat in this game which you'll see me do here in a little bit I use the money cheat to get like as much money as possible and I'm choosing this plot of land here because it's by um, a pond. And in my dream house, I have a pond. But I didn't want to have to actually like make the pond, so I figured, okay, we're already next to a pond. I don't have to make that, so hopefully this will allow me to have more room. And now I'm just going to start building basically my dream home. I don't want that big of a house because like that's just like a lot of like of keep. I'd like maybe like a one story in a basement. I do put a two story in this house just because you know you can but I think I'd like a one story in a basement and then like I'd really like to live on a farm. I'd really like to have a farmhouse. This is me putting in as much money as I can. I should have made it smaller. I made this too big but I like like a lot of land and um, 
basically like I'd like a farm. Um, I'd like to have a barn and a, chip, a chicken coop and a garden. Forgot that you have to have like the foundation of the house. So like I was re-remembering a lot of things from this game. Like this, I swear the controls are so weird in this game. And then I was trying to like make a deck and I was trying to like put in, you know, um, the steps and the guardrail and I couldn't figure out how to put the steps there and I realized like that this was too far forward and that I didn't have enough room for steps so I had to like move the thing back so this is literally just me messing around with the game trying to figure out what the <laughs> hell I'm doing and how this game works. The siding on the roof actually kept like messing up. I don't know why but like I kept having to re-put that in for some reason like change the color of that constantly. Like I said, I didn't even get to the interior of the house. I think I just put up wallpaper and maybe like flooring and that was, that's all I've done to the interior. They do have a quite a few um, different patterns to choose from, which I like, but also like the game takes forever to load whenever you do the patterns and the um, color wheel. Even if I had like a really strong computer, I think like it would just, it, it takes forever to load all of that information. Okay, and then this is me building a garage and I'm making the garage match the house. Again, trying to do like the siding of the roof. Like I said, I kept messing up. I wonder if it's because like when you choose the siding of the roof, like I wonder if it affects like every roof that you've made. So like it makes it the same for all of them. I tried to put in a basement and I couldn't figure out how. Um, if anyone knows how to make a basement in this game, or if that's even possible, let me know in the comments below. It's just like, there's so much to do in this game. I forget just how, how much stuff is in this game. Even though it's like an older game, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff to do in it. I really like these double doors. It's one of my favorite, um, objects in the game, I think, is are those like double glass doors. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, and then I made a back deck. Forgot about that. <laughs> But the same double doors. And then I remember my uh, my window placing was really weird. I never know what to do with windows. Like, I don't know if like I should have them, um, what is it, like symmetrical to each other? Or if I should just kind of randomly place them around. Like, normally, like, I just kind of like put them where I think they look okay. And I think because, like, it just has so much stuff, like, they didn't really focus a lot on the actual simplicity of the game, they focus more on like putting a bunch of stuff in it and because of that like you get like really weird, <laughs> really weird things like this <laughs> where like the roof is like oh, like going over top of the rest of the building. It's just, it's just so wonky, you know? Like it's, it's an easy fix but it's just and then the car. Oh yeah, I, I had some trouble remembering how to flip things around. I think I had to like pause my game and like go and look that up real quick because I couldn't remember how to like flip items do with them. I am not like, you know, a skilled sim player. Like I haven't played this game in years. I know there are people out there who are like really, really good at these games. Like they can make amazing structures. I am not one of those people. <laughs> Yeah, and here's me putting in the windows randomly because <laughs> I just didn't know what to do with them. This is kind of symmetrical. <laughs> I am the person who just like, I'm like, oh, this will look cool. And then, you know, it looks awful. <laughs> so far, things don't look too bad, I think. But it's just like, you know, a standard box house, you know, with a garage. <laughs> I was way more interested in actually doing the yard than I was the house because um, I wanted to make like the garden area and the barn and the chicken coop and also like a fenced in area for kids and then like I think I put in like a grill and like a little like side area for like people to hang out. Um, I didn't put in a pool. I don't know if I ever want a pool or not because that is also like a lot of upkeep. Also like I have like a local pool near me if I really want to go to a pool like it's very easy for me to like you know just go somewhere else for one. Here's me making the chicken coop and the barn 
and just kind of figure out the placing of everything because like this plot of land is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. So I was trying to figure out like what to do to like make it look more like a barn and like a chicken coop instead of like a house, you know, make them stand out. So just kind of messing with things. I'd really like to have at least like, I don't know, five acres of land, like five to ten acres of land. Yeah, everything's pretty cramped. Like if I was to actually get land and be able to build all this, like I would have it way more like spread out. I don't know why I put a glass door on my tree. <laughs> that looks stupid. <laughs> and then here's me putting in trees. Uh, I would love to have like a bunch of pine trees. And like a like a you know forest kind of area because that's very similar to like the area that I used to grow up in I uh, grew up with like 16 pine trees in my backyard it was awesome and this is just like the kid area I'm pretty sure that I'm putting in here I'd like a, like a fenced-in area for like kids and dogs to play and then here's like a little garden area I was trying to make <laughs> Like, I was really running out of room. <laughs> and I have like a little stone pathway. I'm pretty sure this game doesn't have pets. I don't know though. I don't know if there's like an expansion for that or not. I think that's in like the fourth game. I guess I want a lot of land because I grew up um, living in a place that was like um, pretty spacious basically. And now I live in, like, you know, a much smaller area. But yeah, this is basically just me fiddling around with The Sims making my dream house. <laughs> and I put in, like, all the kids' stuff that they had in there, and then I couldn't find chickens, so I put in flamingos <laughs> into the chicken coop, so it's now a flamingo coop. <laughs> I wasn't even like turning them around trying to make them look like they were actually there. <laughs> and then like I found like these giant wheelbarrows. Um, and I just put those in the barn. And then I found those cute fountains, put those in the front. And this is just me basically decorating like the whole backyard area. Found a bench. <laughs> but yeah, I would so love to uh, own a farm. It was my dream. And then this the grill area with a little picnic table. Ugh, I almost put in the cow plants and I remembered they ate people, so I didn't do that. <laughs> I don't want my Sims to die in this. I have played The Sims and have, you know, specifically done so to, you know, cause mayhem and, you know, burn the house down and kill everyone. But this is just me, like, playing out my little dream area. And this is basically it. This was like basically two hours of gameplay just to make this. Um, I was way more interested in getting um, the outside done than the inside. I don't even know if I'm going to continue playing this game or not. Um, this was basically like the main thing I wanted to do. But if, you know, I ever get around to it, then I'll do the interior and then maybe eventually I'll actually play the game. So yeah, just, you know, let me know what you all think in the comments. Um, I might continue playing this game, I might not. It's just something that I had on my computer and I decided, hey, you know, let me play and record some of this and see how it turns out and that's what I did. <laughs> if you would like me to continue playing The Sims, then leave a comment down below and let me know. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all again next time. Bye!